Welcome back to the other side. In this video, you're gonna learn all things Mount Hood. We drove from Idaho to Oregon. It was an absolutely stunning drive along the Columbia River Gorge. That river is the fourth largest in America and it leads to the Pacific Ocean. So it's like super special. So First what we did. we do when we wake up is eat our vitamins, but because our vitamins melted in the car. This is what it looks like now. <laughs> all the little gummies together. So we take a little bite out of it every day. Now we're gonna be heading to Trillium Lake, which is a famous lake here in Mount Hood National Forest. Geez, I need to shave, but we have just arrived at Trillium Lake and it might be one of the most scenic lakes in the world. Look at this, and I'm gonna turn the camera and say boom. Boom. Look at this reflection. Oh, there's ducks out here, perfect still water, and we're gonna canoe it today. We're renting from Mount Hood Outfitters. You can actually just rent right here on the beach, so you don't have to transport any equipment. It gets extremely crowded, so I'm glad we got here at nine. You can't even rent till 11, but getting here at nine assured us a parking spot, and right now people are coming in and can't find parking. So if you come here, come early. We have made it onto Trillium Lake finally. It's about 11.15 and we have this canoe for one hour. It's $25 for an hour and if we feel like staying out, we'll have to pay $45 total. It's expensive, but I think it's worth the view. This is so fun. I feel like I'm in the notebook. Look at it and I'm gonna make her paddle the whole time. Romantic. For those of you that don't know, Mount Hood is actually an active volcano. Had no idea before coming here. Quite scary, but it hasn't erupted since the 1790s. Could be a bad thing, could be a good thing. Let's just hope we're safe out here. I feel like I'm in Europe, like in a movie. Just do, 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 in a canoe with my boyfriend. So fun. Something like this you see in pictures, but being here right in front of this mountain is unbelievable. If you come to Mount Hood, please just do an hour canoe ride. It's a great way to start your morning. The best part about Trillium Lake for us is that our campsite is literally only a mile away, so. And it's free. Yes, it's a free campsite. So we're gonna head back there and make some Sammies. If you are wanting to come to Trillium Lake for the day, you have to pay $10 to park your car. And then of course, if you wanna use a canoe, it's anywhere from $25 all the way up to $100 if you wanna keep it for the entire day. Prices are pretty expensive, but I would say that's one of the best views we've seen in America so far. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Just got back to our amazing campsite. We're having some turkey sandwiches. Perfect meal for van lifers. It's quick, easy. But I want to get you in on a little secret. We met a guy named David in Idaho and he gave us two stalks of corn and then a day later messaged us, you have to try it raw. And we were like, what? Well, we tried it yesterday and it was delicious. I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm telling you guys, please try it at home. While Anna's back at the campsite showering, I wanna show you guys why this might be one of my favorite campsites so far. Not only is it free and it's close to Trillium Lake, but look at this view a minute walk down the road. Boom, look at this view. We're getting this for free. Our campsite's like right down that road. Well, that was the first shower I have taken in four days. I feel like a brand new man. I shaved my face. I'm excited to explore the lavender fields. I'm feeling great. When you do not have a Planet Fitness to shower at, that's like a luxury when you're in van life. Now we have to rely on our Rinse Kit Plus, which still works, but you're still out in the woods and it's hard. It's not as fun as a nice warm shower at Planet Fitness. So Planet Fitness, we are missing you. <laughs> The amount of bees in this lavender field is out of this world. There's probably millions of bees right here, which is awesome. And then in the distance is Mount Hood right there. When we first drove in, um, it didn't look so purple. It's the end of the season, so the flowers, a few of them are dead, but you can still see a lot of the purple in it. And the smell, you can just smell the lavender. I feel like I'm at complete peace right now. I actually really love lavender. I put it on before I go to bed sometimes and we're in a freaking field of lavender so I'm gonna show you a little trick that Ian's dad taught me. All you have to do is rub the flower and then the lavender's on you and you can put it wherever or just smell it like I do. Hands down the best part about this lavender field is not only the views but no one's around. 
If you come here around 4 to 5 p.m., the lighting is great and there's no one here. So please come here for a quick stop. You only need an hour. It's $3 a person. Now we're gonna head back to the campsite and get some grub. Big hike tomorrow and it's gonna be freezing cold in the morning, like 30 degrees. Oh my God. Good morning guys, today we're heading to a waterfall that looks like something out of Bali, Indonesia. It's miserable here. <laughs> it's wearing my girl hat. <laughs> I'm wearing her girl gloves too. By the way, I told Ian, Ian's family has the biggest glove and hat drawer. He is one of four boys. They have so much winter gear, he didn't bring any. And I told him he's gonna end up stealing my gloves and he did. So somebody out there sent him some gloves cause I need mine. Guys, I only use her gloves when she's not out of here. I give them back when she comes out. It's about to be a really good morning. Coffee going. I wanna give a huge shout out to Jackery. This is our portable power station. They give us life. Right now Anna's charging her phone off of it and we're making coffee every morning with it. It is perfect for off the grid. It charges everything we need like camera equipment and it comes with a solar panel like we showed you in the past videos that charges this thing too. Go check them out. There's links in the description below. This video is not sponsored but we do love them. Anna and I have decided we are getting pizza today so I think that's what's gonna really get us through this hike. about to hike Tamanawas Falls Trail. You need a recreation pass to hike here, so you have to buy that before you come to the trails. Lucky for us, they're letting us go today and we'll get one later, but um, there's a lot of hikes around Mount Hood that you need a recreation pass for. So if you're staying by government camp, you can get it at one of the stores there. Let me tell you guys, Anna literally hates the cold. And on the drive here, she said that Oregon is definitely one of her favorites on this trip so far. It is just unbelievable beauty here. She feels like she's in a painting while we're driving down the road. There's no one in sight. I would say I am so pumped to explore Oregon. I know I complain about the cold a lot, which is very well deserved because the cold sucks. But I am obsessed with Oregon so far. It's nice that it is cold in the morning and you can sleep comfortably at night. And then in the day it gets to 70 degrees, which is great. We were walking, we didn't even look up, look. Boom, it is really strong and it's a big one. This does remind me of Bali, other than the weather. If you are coming to Mount Hood, I really recommend this waterfall. It's an easy two mile here, two mile back hike, so four miles in total. It's a Saturday morning and there's no one here. We've seen about 10 people total on this whole trail. Anna is soaking wet right now. We just I took an Instagram up. photo. I just went over there by the water and I'm freezing, soaking wet. This is just as bad as jumping in Delta Lake. If you haven't seen that video, click right up here. I'm going to get a pizza. I'm going home. So I think cool. she deserves the pizza now. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, wow, that burger, pizza, and some beer. Very tasty, Glacier Public House, thank you. We're back at our campsite now before we go to our last stop of our little Mount Hood trip, but I wanna show you guys what it's like at our campsite and what we do usually. Because we have to charge all our equipment, here is our solar panel from Jackery, and it's connected to the portable power station back here with all our camera stuff below. This is a perfect way to charge all our gear when we're out in the middle of nowhere. This is Anna's setup. We're gonna watch some movies and chill right now, but she's reading her book. I took a test of what my 2020 is gonna look like, and it said that I'll be watching Netflix, reading books, I'll be single and poor. So far, all three of those things are true. The only one I'm waiting for is to be single. Coming, guys. <laughs> Wait, Anna, what were mine? Ian's one of those lucky guys, so he got winner, delusional, and happy. So he's a delusional, happy winner. That's what I call it. Sounds good to me. And I'm a poor, single, book-reading, Netflix-watching idiot. Anna was doing yoga on that earlier, and then we have our little kitchen set up with our two chairs of water over there. Coming from the back, this is our view, and that's Anna. I'm about to watch some Netflix. We've arrived. 
drive to Little Crater Lake. It was about a 30 minute drive from our campsite in Trillium Lake. So hopefully, I think it's definitely going to be worth the drive. We will be heading to the actual Crater Lake in a few days, but for now, let's go check out its little sister. We have made it to Little Crater Lake and wow. First of all, it's very blue. Biggest thing about it is that it is clear all the way down to the bottom and you can see trees that have fallen. There's someone in right there just up to his knees, but he says it's freezing. You can see the trees on the bottom here. It must go down 30 to 40 feet. So we were contemplating getting in or not, but we swam in 58 degree water at Blue Heart Springs and I remember just being miserable and freezing and this is 30 four degrees. Water temperature is so different than air and either way 58 and 34 is a huge gap. I don't think I'm doing it. Because we're not swimming here it really is kind of just a quick stop. I believe there's a trail down there but um, you know we got our hiking in for the day so that's it. We just kind of enjoyed the blue water and we're gonna go back and make some dinner of course. Quick stop at Little Crater Lake to end our trip here in Mount Hood. If you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. Hopefully this helps you plan your next trip to Mount Hood. Get pumped because this place is epic. Let me tell you. Boop, boop, yip, yip, riba, riba, riba.